Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is George Baczynski, Jerzy Baczynski in Polish. I represent the British Polish Law Association and Polish Professionals of London. Uh, it is my great pleasure to have you here. Um, and we have many distinguished guests today. I am uh, very happy that uh, I can welcome some of those who are with us uh, since the very uh, beginning of one of the main Polish immigrations to the UK, which is the Second World War. Uh, we have uh, Marzena Szewa here from the Home Army. Uh, we are very happy that, that she's here. Uh, we have Mr. Benny Weizenburg, who is a Polish soldier, a uh, soldier of the Polish Army and also the Holocaust survivor. So we have some of the legends uh, around us here. We have uh, many organizations, uh, Agata will uh, mention them. Um, we have also some of the Polish uh, most important buildings in, in, uh, and organizations in, this, uh, in, in the United Kingdom, Polsk and Ognisko. Those these are the places the Polish emigre, the Polish government in exile uh, gather themselves. So the importance of this debate is, is crucial. Poles are engaging into politics. There are more and more uh, Poles in the UK, it's something which is seen, it's something which is heard uh, around if you walk around London. We organized a similar debate about a year ago. We, uh, we wanted the Poles to be uh, more active because we have Poles which, are, uh, which were councillors, we have Poles which were MPs, but we are still not heard as a minority. I have a feeling, and many of us have a feeling, that there is more that we can do to exist in, um, in the politics. Uh, I am very grateful to, to our speakers who arrived here to, today. We have quite a, uh, an impressive and a broad panel of uh, many viewpoints. Uh, so definitely we'll have an interesting debate going on. Maybe we'll have a bit of shorter questions, shorter answers, but definitely we'll have very interesting uh, viewpoints. I'm very happy that uh, Kasia Madera from the BBC uh, is uh, the moderator for today. Unfortunately, Baroness Lutford, representing the Liberal Democrat, um, couldn't make it. She felt unwell, so she won't be here uh, with us, which is a pity because it was another uh, female speaker which we wanted to, uh, to have. Uh, but unfortunately, she couldn't make it. But we are very lucky because instead of her, we have Mr. Stefan Kaspczyk, uh, the former Islington mayor from Liberal Democrats, who were just sitting now at the back and agreed to uh, represent the party. So all parties will be uh, present. So uh, thank you very much, and especially thank you very much to the host of the evening, uh, Daniel Kawczynski. Uh, who kindly agreed to invite us all here and organize this uh, evening. So I hope you enjoy uh, yourself. Um, you can use your phone today. You usually hear that you're not allowed to use your phone. You can use your phone, just have it on silent. And if you use Twitter, uh, hashtag polls in UK uh, is something that uh, you should be using to, to comment today's debate. Thank you very much. from me as well. My name is Agata Andwach, both in Polish and in English. Um, and I would also like to um, welcome some of the um, Polish organizations and British organizations as well. The Europeans Party, the um, Polish Media Issues, Polish City Club, Wączka Fund, Polish Social and Cultural Association, Polish Educational Society, Association of Polish Engineers in Great Britain, uh, Faith Matters UK, Yorkshire Polish Business Club, and many, many others. Um, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for your interest. And a, um, a very warm thanks as well to the media. Thank you for taking the interest in this debate, and thank you for supporting us. We hope that you have many questions prepared. You will be given a chance to, um, uh, to ask those, and we hope that you will enjoy the debate. Thank you. Um, could I hand over the uh, microphone to the host of today's evening just to uh, welcome us all? Daniel, perhaps we'd, uh, I can just give it to you. Yeah. I don't think I need the microphone, but uh, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a great pleasure and honour for me to host this event this evening as the uh, only British member of Parliament who was born uh, in Poland uh, of Polish origin. I'm very grateful to the Polish professionals of London 
uh, and the British Polish Law Association for helping to prepare uh, this evening's activities. Also very grateful to Kasia Madera for uh, comparing uh, this evening and uh, chairing it. Um, I'm very conscious of the 800,000 Polish, uh, 800,000 strong plus uh, Polish diaspora in the United Kingdom, and the Prime Minister has asked me to engage with the Pol Polish diaspora. Um, it's always striking the number of professionals uh, who are here, highly skilled workers, but also professionals. And there are huge opportunities to use and harness uh, the Polish diaspora in this country to help politicians and others to cement relations between the two countries. On the recent vi visit to Poland, I was very pleased to hear of the tremendous cooperation our two countries are uh, engaging in civil nuclear energy, uh, a multi-billion dollar contract. And that is just the start of tremendous co cooperation between the two countries. I believe that a British company, by employing Polish workers, professionals, can, can, it can help. They can be helped to better understand the Polish market, the <coughs> Polish culture, and the Polish language. And uh, I myself am having Polish lessons every Saturday now with uh, the, the daughter of my Polish instructor is here, um, Lydia Kuac, who was coming every Saturday to teach me and my daughter Polish, uh, because I do understand it's so important to learn Polish if you're trying to do business in that country. So thank you all very much for coming this evening, and I look forward to a very uh, lively debate. Thank you. <coughs> for joining us here today. Um, I've been introduced, so I'm going to call you in my name. But um, we are here to discuss the question, is there a future for polls in the UK? I will very, very briefly, because we are running a little bit behind schedule, introduce you to our esteemed panel. At the end of the table, we have, and this is in no order other than alphabetic, so um, not be mean about anybody. Roger Casale from the New Europeans, which is a European civil organization, one of the fastest growing in um, Europe. It works to promote European values and cultures, and also uh, Roger in a past life, they went to Wimbledon. We are also joined next to me by James Dixon, um, an award-winning lawyer, a barrister for number five chambers. His expertise is very broad, but it specializes in public law, including European Union law, and uh, worked as a lawyer, linguist at the Court of Justice of European Union, amongst many, many other things, and I'm trying to keep it brief. And also, stepping into the breach very quickly for us, we'd just like to thank Stefan Kaskashik, uh, a former Lib Dem councillor. Unfortunately, as um, George mentioned, the Baroness is unwell, so Stefan has stepped in very, very kindly and also <coughs> in the past life a former mayor of Islington. So thank you very much for stepping into the breach. One of our hosts, Daniel Kapczynski, our uh, only Polish-born member of parliament, as you mentioned. I'm very pleased that you're having Polish lessons um, that cheers me greatly. Um, you were recently, you are the Conservative MP for Shrewsbury and Action, and you were recently appointed by the Prime Minister as a special advisor on Central and Eastern European uh, matters. So um, it's great that you can part host this for us. Thank you very much. Um, we also have Dr. Andrew Vilko, economist, sitting next to um, Daniel. Uh, Dr. Andrew is economist and managing director of Europe Economics and Economics Consultancy, also a fellow at the Institute of Economic Affairs, which is a free market think tank. So we'll give us a perspective on that. And at the end of the table, we've got Szenek Tukinski, which even I'm struggling with, and I think it's the Polish A level. He is the uh, UKIP's parliamentary candidate, Paul Tutin, um, standing against Sadiq Khan. Uh, Shemek came to the UK as a teenager and his day job as a banker in Canary War. And also joining us is Andy Slaughter MP. Um, I have to say he's my MP for Hammersmith, uh, but I won't hold any favours. And <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Justice Minister, uh, previously MP for Ely, Acton and Shepherd's Good before the boundary change. Basically, Andy has a lot, large, large Polish community, including the Polish Cultural Centre. Without further ado, I would like to open this up to the first question, which is coming from Jakub Pawlowski. If we could have the microphone reaching Jakub 
areas which are not used which are not used to. I mean, the thing about West London is it's very used to migration. It's very used to migration. It's very difficult in different ways, and we have a hundred different languages spoken in my constituency by significant numbers of people. And so people understand what living in uh, multiracial and cross-racial communities are. They are not frightened of it. There's no fear factor there. And I think the final thing I would say is there is an attempt by parties like UKIP, the average of the third parties are some extent.